years ago. Five years ago, I was kidnapped by Mr. Falls. The ransom price was a raw diamond. My sister Valerie brought it to the bridge. After she made the exchange, she shot Mr. Falls in the arm. That's when Mr. Falls tried to kill me by shoving me off the bridge from behind. I survived, but I was afraid I might be kidnapped again for my family's money. So I decided to change my identity and start a new life. Also, if you ever had a diamond raw, it really hurts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, no, let's go to Horny Jim. Uh... <laughs> Hmm. The kidnapping left her emotionally scarred. With her sister's help, she left the Hawthorne family and started all over again. And were to believe, after all that, she murdered her sister. <laughs> Preposterous. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Miss Fay? Yes, Your Honor. As you have heard, the witness is still traumatized from the kidnapping. I'll ask you again to be extremely gentle in your cross-examination. Mr. Edgeworth got the jump on me again. <laughs> if we're not allowed to fight, then let's twist some arms. Armando, let's, let's fucking fight. <laughs> you ever had an Indian rug burn? Shit hurts real bad. <laughs> Listen up. We've still got that info. That ace up our sleeve. What info? The ace. Of, wait, is this the ace and the ace attorney? <laughs> Yo, what a what a what a turnabout that would be. It took three games for them to mention it. To meant to talk about the ace. <laughs> Come on, kitten. Don't say you've forgotten already. The fact that the kidnapping five years ago was staged. That's right. It was a fake kidnapping. Harry Falls told us that in the lobby. I'll do anything, she says. Anything Dahlia says. What you're saying is that the kidnapping five years ago was planned by... Yeah, me and Dahlia. And Valerie, too. Yes, that's it. Fake kidnapping is your best shot, Mia. That's her secret. Do we need that flashback to tell us all that? I feel like that's no, not a, I feel like that's what we know like we're going to try and nail her on. Yeah, I feel like this game assumes people have the attention span uh, that only lasts like 15 minutes. <laughs> that's that's uh of somebody trying to read the Switch chat while they read the the game dialogue. <laughs> uh, I think no, I think that they made this game specifically to be safe for people with 51st states disease. <laughs> Alright, five years, was kidnapped by Falls, ransom price was a raw diamond, Valerie brought it, after she made the exchange she shot him, that's when he tried to kill me by shoving me off the bridge from behind. I survived, but I was afraid I might be kidnapped again for my family's money, so I changed my identity and started a new life. Uh, I don't know, do we have... I don't think we have anything initially. Yeah, we yeah, might have to start pressing might some have stuff. To do some pressing. All right, well, let's I, just to skip to the front again, and usually they give a hint in the middle section. It's the moment of truth for this witness too. Once the truth about this stage kidnapping comes out, everyone in the court will know how much of a Jezebel she really is. Jezebel Brell? Oh! Oh! I've got to prove the kid. I've got to prove that kidnapping was a hoax. Uh, all right, well, we'll start pressing stuff, I guess. Press. Did you and Mr. Falls have a relationship? Damn, Mia. Yes, as a tutor. Okay, there they mention it. You were tutoring him, Mr. Falls. No, we uh, were part of a <laughs> old English reenactment <laughs> group. I thought, you were gonna say, what? I thought you were going to say that they were Twitch streamers for some reason. I thought that would be really funny. No, I said something dumb. 
No, I still don't even get it. You have like Tudor? Yeah. Yeah. Tudor. <laughs> like the Tudor, like the Tudor family. Oh, yeah, I love, I love that show. <laughs> uh-huh. No, of course not. Don't be ridiculous. Mr. Falls came to the house to tutor me. That makes sense. Five years ago, she was only 14. Oh, I thought there was gonna be a. I thought she was about to be like, wait a minute, what? Yeah. yeah. He probably came up with the kidnapping plan during that time. The Hawthorns are in the jewelry trade and are quite wealthy, you see. Hmm. Quite the clever fellow, that Mr. Falls. Did I hear him right? Did he just call Mr. Falls a clever fellow? Damn, Mia. <laughs> Damn, Mia. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. He's dumb. He's dumb as a box of raw diamonds. <laughs> uh, yeah. Keep pressing everything. I heard the diamond is valued in the neighborhood of $2 million. $2 million? Canadian or American? It was still uncut, so it was about the size of a pint of milk. Mmm! <laughs> <laughs> A two million dollar pint of milk. I don't know what to think about that. That would go great with my tin bits. <laughs> I could dunk those right in there. <laughs> the most expensive tin bits I ever did have. <laughs> the defendants demanded that her sister Valerie make the exchange. Oh shit, King Kieran points out, do Canadians use pints? No, they don't. They use liters. <laughs> Now, what is this pint you're talking about? <laughs> Not as a detective, of course, but as an individual. By the way, I want to ask you, Mr. Edgeworth. Why do you think he wanted to make the exchange up there on that mountain? If he ever got surrounded, it would be hard to escape. There's one thing a kidnapper wants to prevent, and that's police involvement. In a place like that, it would be easy to tell if he was being followed. With only one entrance to the mountain, he was ensuring his safety. What a wickedly clever man that Mr. Falls is. Yeah, right. It was all your plan. Anyway, Valerie brought the diamond to the mountain and... Uh, she made the exchange and then shot him, which also kind of doesn't make sense. That was a dangerous thing to do, considering you were being held hostage. Yes, but actually, that saved my life. What do you mean? You see, Mr. Falls was holding a knife in his right hand. Somehow, I just knew he was going to use it. I knew he was going to use that knife... To kill me. That's why my sister shot him. It was to save me. Hmm. But I have police records that say your sister was the worst shot in the force. <laughs> <laughs> she was a former like stormtrooper. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to hear more about what happened right at that moment. Oh no, is Dahlia actually Darth Vader? <laughs> well, when Mr. Falls was shot in the right arm, he let go of me. Wait a minute, but you said he was holding a knife in his right arm. Oh. I was dazed. I turned to try and run away, but Mr. Falls turned to grab me as well. As I ran past, he and I locked eyes for a second, and he gave me a large, bloodthirsty grin. Bloodthirsty grin. Ooh. And in the Ooh. next instant. <laughs> oh, oh, that nasty oh, man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Goofy fell over the bridge. <laughs> Poor Goofy. I advise the court to remember that the river is 18 feet deep and incredibly swift. I was a strong swimmer, but I was knocked out. When I came to, I had been carried away by the river to a strange place. I'll never forget that day. Crumbling bridge, nowhere to run. I woke up on Destiny Isles, and there I met Sora. <laughs> and just 
one little shove from behind. That was it. Before my sister could catch me, I fell into the river. Shit, I thought we were going to get an extra statement off of that. Uh, well, shit. I mean... I guess, I guess you see... Okay, here's the other thing. You can always press the statement where she said she was being held in her right arm, and then the game might be like, wait a minute. Yeah, uh, shoved, was shot in the arm. Yeah, try this again. Just to yeah, see. Yeah, just fast forward yeah. through it. Okay, never mind. Damn. Hmm. Okay, I guess just keep pressing. Survive family's money. This feels like the least important of anything, but... And that's why you hid your identity. Yes. I only told my sister. <sighs> Valerie Hawthorne. Yes. She's the only one who knew about me. Meanwhile, legally, this witness has been deceased for five years. I, I didn't ever want something like that to happen to me again. Right, final statement. I'm going to run away, run away and find a new daddy. And that new identity was Melissa Foster, right? Melissa Bananas, Bananas Foster. <laughs> uh, how did you know my middle name? Yes, my sister helped me get the official paperwork taken care of. That makes sense. Without an insider's help, doing all the paperwork would have been impossible. She was the only person left in the world I could count on. Change and you, your name impossible you think I killed her? There's no way I could. Hmm. It's the moment of truth for this witness to. Oh yeah, we did this. Damn it. Well, okay. fuck. So we were supposed to just be able to present something. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Look at look at the diamond again. Two million dollar gem yeah, uses as a ransom for Dahlia lost five years ago. Okay, yeah, brought to the bridge. Ready? Oh wait. Oh, it's that, lost. Because it's lost. Yeah. There yeah. You go. Wait, where the fuck is the diamond? God damn it! That's such a stupid thing for us to be like. Yeah, that's that's an obvious one. I, 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 I'm not honestly, chat. I'm not. I'm not mad because it makes sense. I'm mad because we just spent like twenty minutes pressing every statement in this thing. <laughs> Fuck, that wasn't oh, it. Oh, never mind. That's Fuck <laughs> me. Okay, well. Uh, uh, what else we got? That's what Mr. Paul's trying to kill you. He's out the bridge and behind. That also feels like a dumb thing of like is shoving it... you from behind. Is that like... something? Is that anything? Is that anything? Well, this is our fight. Oh, that's, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... We don't have, like, Witnesses. any info about the old... We, yeah, we don't have much for the old crime. Oh! 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 I fucking know what it is. Look at the look at the bridge. Map? Yeah, no, look at the, the photo. This might not be it, but it, you can't push someone off because of the fucking oh. rope. Oh! Oh, my. That's pretty good. I hope that's it. I mean, it. though, isn't yeah. bridge broken behind her? Yeah. Yeah. But shut up about they that, They didn't bridge. say. I mean, she hasn't told us that she's was at the, the broken also, spot. Also, re remember, remember what Edgeworth said. We can't prove it was broken five years ago. Yeah, which is bullshit. Nope, No, that's also it. What? Fuck. Oh, come on. Huh. 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 That seems pretty good to me. I survived. No. How much it falls in the arm? It's so weird because chat said, "Oh, you have to show the, the map? map." But the map doesn't show. It was the, the map. Doesn't show the. <laughs> the map doesn't show the the bridge thing. The ropes on the bridge. <laughs> You say like, that Miss, Mr. Falls pushed you into the Eagle River. Sounds like you're on the ropes now. Uh, however, that's hard to believe. But it's true. I felt a push on my back. 
I'm certain of it. It was Mr. Falls. I'm sorry, but Mr. Falls is his father. <laughs> I guess I wasn't clear enough. God damn it. I shouldn't have said, that's hard to believe. I should have said, that's impossible. Impossible? I ask that the court recall the condition of Dusky Bridge, now and five years ago. That bridge hasn't changed one bit in these last five years. No matter what Edgeworth says, <laughs> fucker. If someone had pushed you from behind as you have claimed. Oh shit, okay, that, that is what it is. Cause the only way she could have been pushed from behind was through the broken space. And if she went through the broken space, she would have landed on the fucking rocks. Oh. oh. That See, I thought that, that makes I thought sense. I thought I thought that that was just like a it was giving the map dimensions. I didn't uh, think that that was a flat surface beneath the bridge. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. <laughs> the way that was animated made me laugh. <laughs> Sweep. Instead of being carried away by the river. You would have been carried away to hell. <laughs> you would have been smashed by the bedrock below. You would have been splattered. You would have been you would have been yabba dabba dead. <laughs> A most certain death. We would have finally found out who yabba uh, who dabba, yabba did. Yabba dabba 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 did it. I was gonna say it's Chris in the chat. <laughs> no, Chris is definitely not watching this right now. <laughs> but no He's one lost. no one tell him no one tell him we made a who yabba dabba did it joke. I will deny it yeah. to the to my I will, dying day. I will deny it to my grave. <laughs> to our yabba dabba death. <laughs> Also, uh, we're at 228 viewers. Thank you all for tuning in. Hey, everyone. Hey, everybody. 232. Do you understand now, Dahlia Hawthorne? The very notion that my client pushed you from behind is impossible. <laughs> Your Honor, this event occurred five years ago. Why, for all we know, the water level in the river may have been higher back then. Stop. Man, you are so obsessed with trying to... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's so obsessed with trying to, like, gaslight us about the state of the... Yeah, for real. <laughs> Stop trying to gaslight like, hey, keep your own boss as so. Edward. <laughs> but it's 40 feet from the bridge to the river. A small change in the water level wouldn't have made a difference. Global warming, Mia. Yeah. Global warming. <laughs> Have you heard of the polar ice caps? What if there was a polar ice cap in the Evo River that oh melted God. because of fossil Your Honor, fuels? I would like to present this picture of a polar bear. <laughs> Look at how sad it is sitting on this melting glacier. And Judge is like, oh, a polar bear. I used to ride those to work every day, don't you know? <laughs> I would like to see yeah? evidence an inconvenient truth. <laughs> <laughs> well, defense attorney Faye is here to tell you that she doesn't like polar bears. <laughs> oh no! You're Guilty. right. If the events if the events occurred just as the witnesses testified, then the defendant wouldn't couldn't have pushed the witness into the river. Young lady, what is the meaning of this? Uh. <laughs> I, I, uh, you see, I... Just a moment, Your Honor. It's true that the witness testified that the defendant pushed her into the river. However, she never stated that she fell from the back end of the bridge. Oh, we're, so now we're going to be like, no, he, she couldn't have fallen off the sides, you fucking idiot. Yeah. What do you mean? After being shot in the arm, it's plausible that Mr. Falls panicked. Therefore, he could have unwittingly pushed her off the side of the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> if that's true, she would have fallen into the river. Well, Miss Hawthorne, is Mr. Edgeworth's explana explanation correct? Now that you mention it, I do remember now, when I fell off the bridge... My skirt got caught on one of the bridge's side wires. 
can't be serious. Damn. Uh, also, Giant Penguin, more trivia time. Dahlia's surname Hawthorne is referenced to the author Nathaniel Hawthorne, who wrote uh, Rappanici's Daughter, or no, Rappaccini's Daughter, a short story in which a man falls in love with a woman who, having been raised in the presence of poison, has developed an immunity and becomes poisonous herself. The man eventually develops his own immunity and becomes poisonous himself, which may parallel the fact that Phoenix Wright is the only one still alive out of those we know involved with Dahlia. Very interesting. I love Nathaniel Hall. Uh, good writing. Uh, Scarlet Letter, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Although I did hate the fucking... Pre what, not, not the prequel, the, the prologue to that book. Fucking sucks. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Like the Something House? Somebody in the chat will know. That sucks ass. Uh, order! Order in the court! It seems Miss Faye's assault has finally reached its conclusion. Not now, Mia. This is no time to retreat. Unfor unfortunately for you, this is just the start of Miss Faye's assault. Uh, what? She's speaking in third person. <laughs> she's lost it. <laughs> I believe Scarlet. your reasoning went something like this, Mr. Edgeworth. After being shot in the arm, it's plausible that Mr. Falls panicked. Therefore, he could have unwittingly pushed her off the side of the bridge. However, once again, I'm forced to say that's impossible. Ridiculous! What's so impossible about it? Because your flawed logic contradicts the court record. Oh, this is the picture. Yeah. There you go. Come on. I'm not even doing a save state. That's how confident I am. Your Honor, all of the answers are right here in this photo. Take a look at the wires supporting both sides of the bridge. They extend up to about five feet above the ground, off the ground. It would be impossible to push someone off from there. No! But let's remember the size and strength of the defendant. Wires like this wouldn't be a problem for him. If only he hadn't just been shot in the fucking arm. He could have easily picked up a 14-year-old girl and thrown her over. Yeah, that's completely different from being pushed. Yeah. So young and already so forgetful, Mr. Edgeworth. <gasps> oh! Damn. Mr. Falls had been shot in the right arm. Ah! And more importantly, Valerie Hawthorne had her gun trained on him at point blank range. Uh. And also, whoever this Dahlia Hawthorne was is probably f fat as shit. Fat and <laughs> fat and ugly and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I heard she weighed like 400 pounds. And I bet she's stinky. <laughs> yeah, and she has terrible acne. <laughs> and bad breath. <laughs> uh, so, Mr. Fall is throwing the witness off the bridge. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. <laughs> So, Mr. Falls throwing the witness off the bridge? That is clearly impossible. <laughs> I also heard she was a female college student. <laughs> order! Order! What is the meaning of this? Dahlia Hawthorne. You jumped into the Eagle River intentionally. What? Wait, why did they play the tiger sound effect. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Indeed. Hey, what do you mean by such a ridiculous remark? You're a Tigre here. <laughs> so, yeah, what? I was going to say, that's what that's what Tigre looks like before he gets his tail. All, all, all Canadians are tigers, confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's ridiculous. My sister was there to help me. She had her gun and handcuffs. She could have saved me. Jumping into a raging river like that? That would have been suicide. Perhaps. But still, that's exactly what you did. You were probably confident that you could handle the swift current. But even more Because you're so. an Olympic swimmer. 
The witness had a much more compelling reason for jumping into the river. Oh? Then what was it? What was so important that she'd want to jump into the river? It was a hot summer's day! <laughs> she really needed a cool off! <laughs> because someone told her to go jump in a river! <laughs> All her this friends were jumping off a bridge, so she <laughs> did it too! Her full name is Dahlia Lemming Hawthorne! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that fact about lemmings is fake, though! It is fake, thank you, Disney, you piece of shit! <laughs> Disney just murdered a bunch of lemmings to make up that documentary! Yep. <laughs> the witness is still alive. This fact alone explains everything. This is why she risked her life by jumping into the rapids of the Eagle River. Hey, listen, it's the fucking diamond, but because we will fuck up the entire bar, I am going to make a safe state because, like, fuck me. Yeah. I'm not doing this yeah. case again. <laughs> Five years ago, something else disappeared along with Dahlia that day. What if, what if it got, like really fucking far and then the judge was like nah that made no fucking sense <laughs> penalty you <laughs> don't Mia Fey you don't know don't you know <laughs> <laughs> don't you know that you don't know the item that Valerie brought up the mountain with her the two the two million dollar diamond <laughs> yeah no can't be. Yes, Dahlia had it all planned from the beginning. The two million dollars, she was going to keep it all for herself. I'm so like, hey, listen, I understand inflation's like fucking wild right now, but like two million dollars isn't like that fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, it's at least pretty crazy. At least <laughs> frame someone for murder for like. Yeah, but dollars. also, Pritch, her family is already rich. Just fucking live with your parents. Well, not after that civil war, they aren't. Uh, well, guess what? It's who, true. Who did the money go to? Not her and her sister? It went to the proletariat, Zach. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're That's taking fair. it from the bourgeoisie. That's fair. We got him, boys. Proletariat <laughs> reigns supreme. <laughs> She forced Mr. Falls to help her fake the kidnapping. So Shadako in the chat says, Zach is rich, confirmed. I'm fucking not. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. <laughs> Guys, let those of us on save data be, be very confidently tell you, Zach is not rich. No. We're not rich. <laughs> I had to move to Ohio, Shadako. That's how fucking poor I am. <laughs> let, 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 let these numbers of save data tell you no one on save data. I, I had to willingly move to Ohio. A forensic yeah. Beck said, sounds like something a rich person would <laughs> say. <laughs> uh, that's good. At the last minute, she betrayed him and threw herself into the river. With the ransom tucked away safely in her backpack. Oh, shit. Why, that's... That's simply ridiculous! Objection. Your Honor, uh, five years ago, uh, the witness was only 14 years old. Uh, do you really think a 14-year-old is capable of such a demonic plan? If she's a demon... Oh, Yo! Oh, whoa! Man, whoa who is Lynch? <laughs> wow! She's a demon on wheels. She's speed racer. She, she's fuck. What was the what's the kid that turns into the teenager that turns into a car? Uh, fuck. Uh, why did I almost say Lightning McQueen? That's really funny. <laughs> yeah, she was a human before the beginning of Cars One. Whoa. Turbo Ciao. Team. Thank you, King Kieran. It's fucking Turbo Teen. <laughs> what is Turbo Teen? It's a really shitty 80s cartoon where a boy can turn into a car. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, if you watch, wait I'll, I'll play the animation. Minute, I'll play the animation here. Wait, uh, look, at this, look at this fucking picture that I just posted. Because holy shit. Yeah, it's fucking bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at his stupid fucking... <laughs> 
face poking tor- out of the car. His, his torso's coming out of the car. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> Turbo Teen's fucking bad. <laughs> That's terrible looking. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. Wait till you see it like animated. It's fucking terrible. Oh my god. Oh. Confirmed. Dahlia Hawthorne is also a turbo teen. Okay, all right. And there was one more person who helped make a demon out of her. That's why I'll make a demon out of you. (laughs) Her sister, Valerie Hawthorne. You mean the victim was involved with the kidnapping plot as well? But she was a detective then. You're saying she participated in her sister's kidnapping? Precisely. I'm sure that it I'm sure that it weighed heavily on her conscience for the past five years. Sorry, this joke is really good. Delusive Gamer says Turbo Teen is Animorphs without God's influence. Fuck, that's <laughs> funny. Wow, that's really funny. I was gonna say Turbo Teen is Scientology's Animorphs. <laughs> Wes, you know that Scientology isn't about science, right? <laughs> That's what an uneducated person would say. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this is the sole reason behind the victim's murder. What do you mean by that? On the day of the murder, after receiving the phone call from Mr. Falls, Valerie called her sister Dahlia. Dahlia. She then told, and then she told her what she was planning to do. Planning to do. She was going to tell the whole truth, as she wrote in her note. That is what sealed Valerie Hawthorne's fate. Oh, uh, shout out to Edgeworth for actually saying. Uh huh. Uh-huh. That. Is when you hatched your demonic plan to kill two birds that's a, that's with a one stone. Right now, yeah. It is. It is. A plan that would ensure neither of your accomplices to the kidnapping would talk. And that is why you killed your sister, Valerie Hawthorne. Damn. <laughs> Who is that? Laughing at a time like this. Forgive me. It's just hilarious. Witness, is that you? You amuse me, woman. Miss Mia Fay. You can certainly weave an exciting tale. Naturally. You have the evidence to back it up, don't you? Evidence? Evidence that I planned the kidnapping, of course. That at 14, I plotted it with my with Mr. Falls and my sister. Well, I... And one more thing. What happened to the $2 million diamond? If you can't provide evidence to at least show that... Hmm... Well, Miss Faye... I... I don't know. What a joke! You, Miss Faye! Are you stupid or something? Goddamn. Uh, How can I prove a fake kidnapping that happened five years ago? I don't even have decisive proof of Valerie Hawthorne's murder. (sighs) <sighs> well, it seems that we've come to the end. To be honest, the witness's behavior does raise certain suspicions. However, I am forced to reject the assertions made by the defense. Of course you are. Is this it? Is it really over? How could this happen to me? How many times will we do that in the history of this channel? It's only me. I just love that bit. Uh, Chris has done it a couple times, I think, too. Has he? Okay, yeah. great. That girl has made a fool of me, and there's nothing I can do about it. Without evidence, the trial is over. Who decided that? 
Mr. Armando. That's like this is the third game. That's what everybody has told us this entire time. <laughs> Come on now, kid. Have you figured out that you can make your own rules? What? I mean, look. In this universe, that's true. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> I actually can't criticize that statement. <laughs> For example, even if there's no evidence, there's still testimony. Testimony. The day in question, Dahlia Hawthorne murdered her sister, Valerie Hawthorne. She hid her body in the trunk of Mr. Fall's stolen car and then went to meet him at the meeting. Disguised as her sister, Valerie Hawthorne. That's what you think, right? Yes, that's right. In that case, there's only one answer, right? There's only one person left who can testify about Valerie Hawthorne's murder. Since there's no proof... There's only one thing left to do. Who is the one person who can testify to that demon woman's crimes? Edgeworth. Herself. The Dahlia Hawk. Also, yeah, this hasn't been Bring updated yet. Real... <laughs> we know that this is her at this point. Uh, Mia, you're a spirit medium. Just channel it's... Valerie Hawthorne. Yeah. It's Phoenix Wright. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm not a character yet. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's it's Terry Falls, right? It's Terry Falls. Yeah, it's good old Terry. It's Terry time. It's Terry time. Your Honor, the defense wishes to call a new witness. <sighs> a new witness. Yes, you would like to hear the testimony of Terry Falls, the defendant. There's only one person that can shed any further light on the situation, and that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Only one person that knows what Dahlia's role in the kidnapping was. And that is oh my God. he. That is the great I am. Hey man, don't involve me. Can <laughs> mediums channeling, can't channel Jesus Christ? Well, I mean... If they can't, that proves that he didn't exist. <laughs> no, no, no. Because remember, Wes, he came back to life and ascended into heaven with his whole body. That's Check damn, you're right. Liberals. He's not dead. Shit! Oh. Shit! The damn, Bible right. planned it. The Bible planned all of this. Yep. The Bible. See, that just proves that he's real because God anticipated Phoenix Wright and anticipated spirit mediums and the plot hole, and so they wrote in that Jesus was resurrected with his whole body. Damn it, Zach. <laughs> Society, you're right. Check me out. <laughs> Corona Wizard West, I Syed no lay. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot about Phoenix Wright Ace Christian. <laughs> Sorry, give me only one, more one time. person that can, only one person that can say whether the person in the photo is Valerie Hawthorne, or whether in fact, or whether it was in fact her younger sister, Dahlia, disguised as her. There's only one person who can solve this riddle once and for all. And that's the world's greatest detective, Batman. <laughs> no. And that person is Terry Falls. Hey, it's me. <laughs> I'm the weird hockey pants. <laughs> well, Mr. Edgeworth, what's your take on this? Why not? The prosecution has no objection. Very well. Bailiff, bring the defendant to the witness stand. This is my last chance, Mr. Falls. My last chance to establish Dahlia's guilt. You're all I have left. <sighs> defendant, you've heard everything that's been said up to this point, yes? Uh... Um, I don't believe it. No way. Dahlia died five years ago. Valerie betrayed me. Oh. Mr. Falls. Ah. <laughs> this gumball doesn't taste very good. <laughs> I don't know what she said to you five years ago, but one thing is clear. Dahlia is very much alive. And you were used... For two million dollars. That's not true. Mr. Falls, there's only one question I want the answer to. 
two days ago on Dusky Bridge, who did you meet? Was it Valerie Hawthorne? Hawthorne? Or was it Dahlia Hawthorne? <laughs> Dahlia. Dahlia. Did you betray me? Uh, five years ago, she promised. She promised. Never, ever betray each other. Terry. Dahlia. It, it's true. You are alive. You don't trust me anymore? That makes me sad. Tell the truth. The real truth. I believed in you. I shouldn't need to say it. You should already know. <laughs> but there is one thing I will say. My life is in your hands right now, Terry. Duh. Leah. I will allow Mr. Falls to testify once and once only. Well then, Mr. Falls, yours will be the final testimony in this trial. Witness! Oh, eh, I'm sorry, I apologize. He is great. Oh. He did sorry. Oh. Sorry. Uh, water. Please, water. Huh? I can't talk. You need water. Huh. Oh, well, I guess it'll have to be my coffee instead. No, I'm I'm dehydrated as fuck, you idiot. Don't give me and coffee. Nothing, nothing quenches at first like a tall, hot cup of joe. Drink up, pal. <laughs> At least it'll match the way he's probably feeling right now. Darker and bitterer Jeez, than man. hell itself. Jesus. Wait, is bitterer a word? Oh. I don't think I don't think bitterer is a oh. word. Can someone confirm? Is bitterer a word? That day, 4 p.m. I stopped the car. I was in front of Bridge. She wasn't there, so. I waited on Bridge. I watched my car from Bridge. I never put no body in that car. Finally, one woman came. She stood in front of me. We talked. Then she left. That was... That was Valerie, not my Dahlia. Mr. Falls, you're covering for her. Do you think she would do the same for you? That's enough, Miss Fay. His last statement was a fitting way to end the final testimony of the trial. Well then, Miss Fay, please proceed with your cross-examination. Is this how you want it to end, Mr. Falls? Another guilty verdict to go along with your death sentence? There's only one person who can stop it. You, kitten. I think. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were so close. You were so close to being so motivational. Yeah. And then you fucked it up. I don't, yeah. I don't fucking know. Uh, <laughs> hey, chat. I know All right, so to... automatically he said there was no one on the bridge, but that can't be the case because no one could have gotten to the other side of him. If... Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a good true. Point. <clears throat> uh... Waited there on the bridge. So, Watched yeah, my not, car. That, I mean, that immediately can't be true. The last one. She wasn't there, so I waited. Yeah, because again. Yeah, because uh, he was behind her. Like, yeah, she she couldn't she couldn't have gone to the other side of the bridge. Because the bridge was well, there. Out. A sentence later that makes it more apparent. Finally, one woman came. She stood in front of me. I mean, hypothetically, she'd just come from the same way, right? Or no, he stayed looking at the car. No, because go look at the court record. Okay. And then look at the, the crime photo. Oh. Just look this at one? it. Yeah. She's on the side that the bridge is broken. Yes, correct. So if he got there and there was uh, nobody there. Ah, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, watch the car from the bridge. She wasn't there, so I would. Okay. Let me, just in case. Cause of course. Some of the things. Some of the things do be wild. Attention! No, you got it. First try. 
So when you got to the bridge, no one had arrived, huh? So you waited on the bridge. You sure of that? Yeah, I'm sure. You're sure, huh? Well, then I'm sure too, Mr. Falls. Sure that you're lying. I'm not sure about things. <laughs> oh, I would love to hear your rationale on this, Miss Fay. You want to know who arrived at the bridge first? Just look at, just look at this photo! It's perfectly clear. Obviously, the person that came first would be the one at the end of the bridge, right? But, but that's the victim at the end of the bridge. No, oh, you don't you think? Did you say what? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Precisely my point. In other words, Mr. Falls, you must have arrived at the bridge after she did. No. <clears throat> Um, Mr. Falls, please don't get so worked up. We just want the truth. I got there around four o'clock. It's true. I, I had somewhere to go. A special place. Did you go to this special place before you went to the bridge? Yeah, it's an old temple about 15 minutes from the bridge. Five years ago, me and Dahlia, we promised each other. We swore we wouldn't betray each other. She brought a memento to represent our love. A memento? Five years ago, I hid it under base of tree there. It's a special memory for me. This is it. This is what I went to get. This little bottle and a uh, this little bottle and a necklace is your memento. It's quite charming, but it looks empty. Your Honor, you heard what my client said. He arrived at the scene <laughs> at four o'clock, but he then left his car unattended and walked away. He was gone for approximately thirty minutes. <laughs> With that much time, Dahlia Hawthorne could have easily hidden the body in the trunk of his car. No! Indeed. There certainly was enough time for it. I've still got a chance. Mr. Falls, there's no mistaking it. <coughs> huh? Mr. Falls? <coughs> Oh, that's not good. That, Get too much cool. block disease. That's enough. Please. Witness? I promised her five years ago, if it ever happens, that we can't trust each other no more, then we're supposed to drink bottled... Uh, <clears throat> no! Stop the trial! Your Honor, we need a recess! I... I was st stupid. Couldn't... Keep... Promise... So... I did it. I... Drank... This... <coughs> no! We're so close! Just a little more! I was gonna prove you your innocence! No. Don't want that. Don't... Trust... Self. Maybe kill again. Kill sweet Dahlia. Again. Mr. Falls! Mr. Uh, Armando. Thanks for the coffee. Mr. Falls! Damn it, I shouldn't be laughing, but it looks like you just faded out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of poison that makes you ascend to heaven, <laughs> body and all. This is what Jesus took. 
<laughs> I will now be with Jesus. <laughs> I mean, look, he's, look, he's he's on his knees praying. He's praying. He's, God fucking damn it. <laughs> Listen, you can count on us to bring some levity to even the worst situations. <laughs> I did so my first the, trial. I did the moment. Sorry, Elf. <laughs> and so my first trial ended, suddenly and tragically. It ended with no winners, only losers, except for Dahlia, of course. She totally won. <laughs> yeah. I ended up with a. I ended up with a wound that cut so deep into my soul, I thought it'd never heal, and that wouldn't get brought up until the third game. I'm sure it was the same for the young prosecutor as well. Uh, whatever. Yeah, I didn't I, really care all that much. I'm counting that as a win, so <laughs> I, at least it's not a loss, so I still have a perfect record. I'm Undefe going undefeated prosecutor right here! I'm gonna go tell Papa Manny that I was great. <laughs> Guess who didn't lose his first case? No losses yet, suckers! <laughs> <laughs> But one person, a true criminal, Dahlia Hawthorne, she left the courtroom with a secret smile on her demonically sweet face. Unforgivable, that witch. Mr. Armando. We were so close to the truth. It was right there in front of us. You were just a little too soft, kitten. Are you fucking blaming Mia right now? It's Mia! It's my fault. It's all my fault that Mr. Falls killed himself. Mia, it's not your fault. It's explicitly not. I would argue it's very much not your fault. Don't cry, kitten. To make my coffee all salty. That's what you're worried about? I knew it. I knew I wasn't cut out for this. Yeah. Don't you get it? You can't cry yet. Oh, I forgot about that. The only time a lawyer can cry is when it's all over. Mr. Armando. No matter how tough the case, no matter how bitter the memories, they always fade over time. And you file them away and eventually forget them. I will say, like, kind of fuck him the last two lines he had there, but shattering the coffee cup in his hand is pretty fucking fuck, rad. Fuck. Obviously, <laughs> hey. that's bullshit. That's pretty fucking rad, huh? <laughs> Oh, wait, I think this is Phoenix. This is Phoenix. <sighs> now, do I remember how to do his voice? I don't, I'm not even sure anymore. <laughs> One year later, <laughs> in this very same courthouse, I myself got wrapped up in that case. When I killed that guy, fuck. Fuck, I got me again. again. Me. <laughs> and I'm good. <laughs> Only after that. Did Dahlia Hawthorne get put on trial for her crimes? And then she ascended to heaven. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> and she too ascended to heaven. It, Everyone keeps doing this for some reason. Really odd choice on God's part to let her come up, but I don't know. <laughs> Why does and everyone keep ascending to heaven before I, <laughs> before I can send them to jail or get them out of and, jail? And then get zooms into God and he's like, yeah, the property taxes were just too crazy, so I just had to downsize. So there's only one place you go now. <laughs> the verdict that was ultimately handed down to her was... Guilty, of course. Naturally. 20 hours of community service. <laughs> <laughs> she had to pick up trash on the side of the highway. It was very embarrassing for her. <laughs> Naturally, when the verdict was read, she had a perfect, angelic smile on her face. Damn it, I'm still simping for her. It was finally all over. At least, that's what I thought at the time. Unfortunately, 
I can't get my computer screen to stop flashing. <laughs> I couldn't have been more wrong. It's been five years, but now something's happened that's made me remember all this. Phoenix has just been watching Futurama's Hypno Toad this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh boy, everybody! Wow, we're on the final trial of this game now. That's crazy. Did it, boys? Bridge oh. to the turnabout. <laughs> bridge, yeah, bridge, bridge to turnabout. <laughs> bridge, bridge to turnabout. Bridge to the turnabout. <laughs> Folks, that is going to do it for this week's stream of Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. Again, if you like this, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash team every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, as well as a bagillion other things. That's right, folks, a bagillion. Uh, and hey, if you like this, uh, next Saturday, the 18th, we are going to be streaming for 10 plus hours. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of fun things planned, including... Pridge and Phoenix Wright teaming up in a WWE wrestling match. Uh, it should be Buck Wild. Uh, also, holy shit, Chris sent me the final design for Wes in that game. It is so funny. Uh-oh, uh I'm terrified. Because, yeah, we, we, we got a copy of WWE 2K 2022. Oh, uh, I remember that. I'm excited to see it's it. It's so funny. We, we did a lot of Persona jokes for your character design, so... Oh, beautiful. Perfect. It's so good, though. Uh, but if you want to catch that, tune in then. Again, that is June 18th, Saturday. Uh, and hey, if you want to support us, head over to patreon.com slash save data team. Get yourself included in that Patreon uh, rap that we include every stream and a bunch of other stuff. That's going to do it. Uh, but until next time, court is adjourned. Just a random idiot. Uh, old people learn about pride and some head cannons. Uh, I have Hermione and Phoenix just as doodle because I couldn't figure out dialogue. But I like the idea. Hell yeah. Yeah. As always, y'all. That's very pride. cute. Yeah. Beck, the gang's all here. Aw, oh, shit. The gang's all here. Yo. The, the way this is laid out does make me think of um, the Brady Bunch, Brady unfortunately. Bunch. Uh, That's the way <laughs> they became the courtroom bunch. Ba-da-da-da-da. <laughs> uh, infamously dorky, Wes's comment last week led to this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe... Love can bloom on the battlefield. Diego, this is a courtroom. You're having a caffeine overdose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is what happened uh, to those updated Eagle Ridge maps, plus the aftermath. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Rise, I'm going to need you to eat these maps. And then you'll send me your number? Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> From Miles, restraining order. That's it, I'm going to law school. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> <laughs> My boyfriend sent me a mean later letter, so I aided it. Aided it. <laughs> ATM with Happy Pride almost wrote a whole ass essay in chat about loving the bi rap coding with these two. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, I love the the little bit of, um, well, one, both of them having the, the bi flag, but her having the cup and the, what do you call them? The shoulder things that Lara... Lana Skyhead. Uh, Lana Skyhead. And yeah. Phoenix has both the butterfly from Dahlia and Edgeworth's cravat, which is fucking cool. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Symbolizing the relationships. Fuck yeah. Yo! Some Narmitsu paper dolls. These hey, are fucking great. Yeah. So cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and the, and the, the, the coloring is yeah. gorgeous. This is really good. Uh, really good. Oh, and then they smooch. The final one. <laughs> it's not safe for work. Uh, don't look away, folks. I was going to say, we should <laughs> we should blur that out. Blur that out in post, Zach. Uh-huh. But this is super great. Thank you very much. And I'm pretty sure Those first time amazing. poster. So welcome to this. Yo! Yes. Welcome. Thank you for posting. Those are so cool. Uh, Miss cool. Mischief. Uh, here, Wes, since you like how I draw Maya so much. Oh, no. Oh, no. But don't make it sad. Dun, dun, dun. Very good. Uh, and why do I do my angst? Because because I kin and relate to her. No. Uh, Jackalope, she would do nothing wrong. I promise. <laughs> never. She never oh, has. No. Uh, and never will. This is Holly's dream. So there you go. Uh, six with the sequel for for Miles. Very cute. Oh yay! It's all the Mileses from yeah, the wait. from the Also, promotion Miles is in a maid outfit. I don't know if it was a made outfit. He's just wearing the robe. Oh, yeah. I, I think in probably one of the manga or something. That's fair. That's fair. He was in a made outfit. 
Oh my gosh, yeah, this is, this is miles of miles. That's very good. Uh, Corona is here with lots of art today. Here's my art done from the previous case. There's some extra moments sprinkled in. Sorry for the size and all. Hope it works out. Oh, yeah, I mean, hey, you spent a shit ton of art for us. Thank you. Yeah, but he doesn't have a cyclock yet, does he? That's why we gotta go find the Magatama, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Or we just stab the old man. That sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love you spicing up your DS. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, me seasoning the DS I was about to shout out is really good. <laughs> Fucking okay. Gordon Ramsay. You have a good Gordon Ramsay, right? Sure. You Frenching donkey, you call this a kitchen. We have so many appliances and potions, I think that you were a full metal alchemist. <laughs> And that dish inspired by lobster, more like a retired by mobster. <laughs> Disgrace, I swear. The freshest thing around here are the bloody pigeons. Oh, that's really good. Oh, shit, continues. That is really good. <laughs> and how is your meal, Mr. How is your meal, Ramsey Sama? <laughs> Delicious. Finally, some good French and food. <laughs> Uh, inspired so... by lobster, retired by mobster sounds like the puns he actually tries to make. Yeah, no, it's oh, incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. That was so funny. Caseline King. Speaking of Dahlia, I did some fan art of her ages ago. This might be spoilers, but oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. Uh, yeah, that's not. Nah, without the context, you have no context. I mean, as soon as you see, but yeah, yeah we'll talk about it next week. Uh, this is very good. Hell yeah. The rain and everything. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Dreamy Flower. I've been watching Ace Journey VODs for a while. My first time posting anything here, so uh, take that. Throws a lie at you. <laughs> I stole Nick's credit card, lol. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Very good. Super cute. And thank you. First time posting. Hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Gnomes. It's this so one. funny. This one gets me so hard. Fucking Gumshoes PS1 Hagrid? <laughs> Fuck yeah. What a good cut. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Wow. That's, that's that's such a deep cut. It's amazing. 10 out of 10. Uh, Hornedly, sorry I can't Dahlia Hawthorne right now. I have Nayuta hyperfixation. Hey, it's very good. And does Nayuta yeah, have butterflies? Yeah, perspective on this. No. Well, there no, you go. You, you put a butterfly in Nayuta. So they're connected. Also, the perspective on that is really cool. Mm -hmm. It's like the angle weird. He does have butterflies. Oh, uh, OK, well, uh, Beb starting the characters from Phoenix's post flop era. Apollo's just a little guy, a fella, <laughs> Athena. And of course, Tracy, uh, these fucking Aww. kick ass. Yeah, uh, your your casual wear designs are great. Also, like Athena kind of being jacked. Yeah, Athena's fucking look at look at her fucking does it for bicep. Me. It does it for me. Uh Witch Tower in Dahlia we trust might clean this up later, but I've been busy, so it's not likely. Yo. Wow. Yeah, that's a fucking banger. Uh Ooh. Goddamn. Rose, last minute, art ack. I need to insert at least one ship art. <laughs> Don't insult them. <laughs> later. Bye. Bye, Dolly. Bye, Maddie. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I like Dahlia's face. It's fucking great. <laughs> and and his face, too. And uh, Matt's face. Uh, 